Hey everyone, it's me Nita and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be working on a bunch of holiday samples. Um, I have some Thanksgiving designs that I need to get up and I also have a bunch of Christmas items that I also want to get listed. So I have a bunch of scrunchies that I plan on listing on Etsy and um, selling at a local flea market. Um, I did decide on a date. I am going to be doing the flea, a flea market on November 14th and November 20th. So I'm running at so I'm running out of time. So I need to hurry up and get some like holiday stuff prepped and ready for that market. I also have some bell bottoms too that I'm going to be sewing up tonight and then a bunch, a bunch of embroidered shirts. So I'm gonna try and use as much time as I can tonight to get as many of these items done. Um, some of the app some of the t-shirt designs are just like fill stitches, um, so I don't have to do like any appliques for those ones. So while I'm working on those, I'll probably be sewing up some scrunchies or sewing um, some bell bottoms. So let me go ahead and just show you all the materials that I'll be using for this video, and then um, we'll just get started on making a bunch of cute items, and I'm gonna try my best to spend the next two days getting them all listed because um, Halloween, I actually didn't sell too many items. I only sold um, two Halloween bell bottoms. So I'm hoping that I am more successful this Thanksgiving and Christmas time as well. I do plan on doing some HTV designs, um, but I'm not going to do those tonight. Um, but I do plan on doing some HTV designs, so I'll have to work on those another day. But I want to hurry up and get this stuff listed because I'm hoping, like I said, that I have more success with these holiday items than I than with my Halloween stuff because my I only uh, sold two items, which sucks. But hopefully, I do better this time around. Um, but I'm gonna start rambling and let's get started. Okay, so I have all my scrunchies cut and prepped. So I have a bunch of cute, just different prints. I have this print. These little light prints, um, this print, that one, I really like this one, it's a simple and basic, some candy canes, some gingerbread men, a plaid one, I'm thinking hopefully this one will sell really well because I know plaid um, is really in right now, especially for like the Christmas season, so I have this print. And then this one for Thanksgiving. So I have a bunch of different scrunchies that I plan on sewing. I need to actually get more of this Buffalo plaid uh, print because I think this would sell really well for a scrunchie. So um, these are all the scrunchies. These are like all my Christmas fabrics and like Thanksgiving-ish themed fabrics um, that I'll be using for like my appliques. For bell bottoms, I have this cute little reindeer one and this cute little peppermint. And then I have a bunch of just basic white knit. This I'm gonna use this for my t-shirt sample. So I have a bunch of white knit fabric cut up. I did like, I think 15 by 15. And I got this from Joann's. It's just the basic cotton knit fabric. I have a bunch prepped over here. And then if I need more, I have gray as well. So I have all my materials ready to go. Now all I have to do is just edit some of the designs that I'm gonna be doing for embroidery. So I'm gonna go ahead and work on that. And then um, once I get my machine going, I'll start sewing up some scrunchies and then these bell bottoms. So if you guys, so if you haven't noticed, I'm in a new area. Um, if you haven't watched my last video, I have it linked up here for you guys to go check out. I did a whole craft room tour because I actually ended up moving my craft room out of my dining room into my, my front room. So definitely go check that video out if you haven't already. I'm gonna start editing these designs now. Okay, so I have this one done. This is just gonna be a basic like fill stitch, no applique or anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get this one going and while this one's going I'll still edit some designs and um, hopefully this one will stitch out pretty quickly.
on these two pairs of bell bottoms. I'm using my serger um, to do that just because it looks more professional. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and work on these two bell bottoms really quick. And I'm hoping by the time I'm done with these, it'll be time for me to switch out that shirt. So hopefully I can bust out two bell bottoms while this is stitching out. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and start doing some of my Thanksgiving designs. I only have two. I don't feel like uploading a bunch of Thanksgiving designs because I feel like those won't sell as much as Christmas designs. So I'm gonna do a boy turkey and a girl turkey. I'm gonna be using these fabrics, uh, these four for the boy with like a brown fabric. And then for the girl turkey, I'm gonna use uh, these four fabrics. Um, for the designs that I already finished, I finished this little candy cane, not candy cane, peppermint. Um, the name was supposed to be red, but I forgot to change out the colors, so it came out black, which is fine, but I still think it came out super cute. This is actually going to be paired with these pants. 
I think that's gonna look super cute. And then I was able to get this pair, this pair of bell bottoms done. And then for some other shirt samples, I got this one done. This one, I hope this one sells really well because this is super cute. Um, I'm thinking about putting this one on a like crew neck sweatshirt for myself because I really like this design. Um, sorry for the shadow. And then I got this one too. So I was able to get these done. I'm prepping the scrunchies. I'm getting my tags all ready um, and getting this ready. So once, once this design starts doing the satin stitches, I'm going to start working on the scrunchies. Um, both my kids are gonna need to go to bed soon, so I, this is probably gonna be a two-part video because I might end up falling asleep with them tonight because I'm super tired because over the weekend, I ended up staying up to like 6 a.m. because I was binge watching a new uh, series on Netflix um, and I stayed up till 6 a.m. It was a total bad idea. I totally regret doing it. But it's really hard with work and being a stay-at-home mom to be able to have like any time to spend with like my husband and we both just wanted to spend time together and just watch um, a TV series and we don't really get to watch TV very often because we're always go 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 either with the kids or with work so it was kind of nice just being able to sit and relax and watch a show but now I'm regretting it because I am so freaking tired but I'm gonna try and push through at least get this shirt done and then go lay down with the boys go to sleep and then get started on the rest of this stuff tomorrow. If I don't fall asleep with them, then I'll come back out and work some more. So we shall see what I end up doing, but if I end up falling asleep, I'll see you guys tomorrow. If not, I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay guys, so it's the next day. It is, let me check and see what time it is. It's seven o'clock. Um, so I probably have about an hour or so until I have to go put the boys down for bed. Um, I do have like 10 open orders, so they don't have to go out anytime soon. So I'm gonna wait till tomorrow to work on any orders, but I wanna go ahead and finish up these scrunchies and get a couple more shirts done. Um, and then I think that'll be it for me making samples, at least for these next two days. But so far I think I have two bell bottom samples and then I think four shirt samples and then like six or seven different type of scrunchies. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get another shirt hooped onto the machine and then I'm gonna start sewing up these scrunchies that I have. I already, I already sewed the tags um, onto the scrunchies. So now all I have to do basically is just do it's called the burrito method. I have a video on how I made these scrunchies, so I'll make sure and link it up below for you guys if you wanna go check out how I make my scrunchies. But basically, I just need to 
sew the scrunchies, put elastic through them, and then sew the scrunchies shut, and then take pictures and list them. And um, that's basically all I'll have to do for the scrunchies, and then I'll have to take photos of all the outfits and all the shirts that I made as well. So I'm gonna try and just get as much as I can done tonight, and then tomorrow morning I will take photos of everything because I could do, I could take photos with the kids just fine. Um, but trying to work and make samples with the kids is way too hard, especially now that they're older, they're just way more active. So it makes it a little bit harder to get things done. But I'll definitely be able to take photos and edit the photos and possibly work on listings with them. Um, like while they're eating breakfast and lunch, I can kind of work on that. But I'm gonna go ahead and just get started. Um, I have some more sketch designs that I'm gonna upload and while those are going, I can just work on scrunchies.
Okay guys, so I have two more designs that I'm working on. I'm currently working on another reindeer one. This is a girl version and then I also have a boy version. Um, right now I'm just doing the applique portion of this. Um, and then I was able to get all these sewn. Now basically all I have to do now is flip them, uh, put some elastic through them and sew the opening closed. So basically that's what I'm gonna do for the remaining of this time. I do have to go put my kids to bed soon so probably gonna finish up that shirt and then once they're asleep um, I will finish these up and do the other ranger that I have and then I'll officially officially be done with all my holiday samples I don't think I'm gonna add anything else to the shop I think I have a good amount of samples Hey guys, so this is everything that I was able to accomplish the last two days. It currently is one in the morning. I'm super tired, so I'm not gonna be able to take any product listing photos tonight. I'll just have to save that for tomorrow morning, but I'm really loving how everything turned out. I really love this outfit. The peppermint, so cute. Same thing for the little reindeers. So I have four shirts that can go with this pair of bell bottoms. I only have one shirt for this, so I'm thinking I still need to look around for another like peppermint candy kind of themed um, design, maybe either for HTV or if I can find another embroidery design, that would be nice. All of the scrunchies, I seriously, seriously love. I can't decide which scrunchie is my favorite. I really like the Christmas tree lights. 
the gingerbread man, man. Oh, super cute I really love this Paris scrunchies I really love how the turkeys came out the only thing I don't like um, for the boy I wish I would have did his feet yellow I just think it looks a little bit better um, but I love the fabric choices for the girl and I love the fabric choices for the boy um, definitely need to make one of these shirts um, for my kids because they love dinosaurs so I definitely want to make them these two shirts this one I think overall is my favorite thing that I made um, I definitely think I am going to make myself one of these and put it on like a crew neck sweatshirt because I have one so I'm thinking I'm going to add that to it I haven't decided quite yet but everything just I love how everything turned out I'm really hoping that I have a better turnout with my holiday collection because like I said in the beginning of the video uh, Halloween only sold like two or three items for Halloween so I'm hoping that I'm able to get some Christmas stuff sold just because I kind of waited last minute for Halloween and I feel like I waited last minute for Christmas too and definitely for Thanksgiving so we shall see how I do I will definitely let you guys know in future videos how everything sells or if anything sells but that is going to be it for this video um like i said i'm gonna to wait to do product photos tomorrow because i'm exhausted and i have to take jackson to his three-year checkup um so we have to wake up early tomorrow so definitely i definitely need to get to bed because it is already super late it's like 1 it's 1 30. so by the time i lay down and relax i probably won't fall asleep until 2 or 2 30 so yeah, but I will see you guys in my next video. Um, I have my first market on the 14th, and then I think the next one is on the 20th. I'm hoping the weather's nice um, because I plan on selling a bunch of these scrunchies, and then I'm going to take samples for all my Christmas stuff and for my like birthday shirts and designs, too. I plan on taking samples for that. And hopefully customers that are at the flea market will be interested in purchase. But if you guys are interested in seeing more market prep and flea market content, definitely make sure to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like. And also, if you liked any of the items that you saw, I have my Etsy shop linked down below. Um, I should have everything listed by the time this video goes live. So, um, yeah. But I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you.